Uh, Smokey was asking, they want to build a vertical wire antenna for 20 meters, a 16 feet, six inches in appropriate length of wire. I guess it depends on what your frequency is going to be, uh, because to find, you know, to find the appropriate length of wire, uh, what you're going to formula. Um, now we, we usually use uh, 468 divided by the frequency in megahertz to find the length of a half wave. So if we just cut that in half, we can go 234 divided by our frequency. We'll say 14.250 if we're going to be in the middle of the phone band. And if, I think he's a CW operator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that would get us to 16.42 uh, feet. So actually- so he's, very, he's very, very close. He's very, very close. He's very, yeah. very close. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, probably, that's probably close to, I'm, I'm guessing about 14.200 in the middle of the band. Now, the, the one thing that, If the wire's insulated, it'll make a couple inches difference too. I was going to, I was going to mention that because if you're using insulated wire, now you're going to have to account for velocity factor, which for, if you're using just like, um, uh, electrical wire, you know, or, or like like vinyl clad or just vinyl clad wire, uh, your velocity factor is 4%. So if I multiply this number times 0.96, it's telling me 15.75. So 15 feet. That's, nine a, that's inches. a big difference. That's like, that's, that's big. A, yeah. That's a big difference. Though, huh? That's like, a, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Consider that, uh, so uh, always, you know, take into account velocity factor. Um, a lot of times for HF antennas, I will, I'll cut, and then I'll, I'll cut the full length, and then I'll trim for velocity factor, because it's, you know, that gives you a little bit of extra wire to work with, and then you can um, just kind of trim that down um, mm -hmm. as, as you're um, um, tuning, tuning, adjusting the antenna. So that's so the beauty. That's the beauty of these telescopic whips. You know, we can <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they're they're awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So all right. So uh there we go. And um so he's also gonna be using a a, a four to one transformer. Um uh, so if you're gonna be using that would uh, this would be a like a resonant. You wouldn't need a four to one transformer if you're making a resonant quarter wave vertical. Um, no. But if you're going to do a non-resonant antenna like the uh, Ribikov, then cut twenty five feet of wire, use the four to one transformer, and then the tuner, and then and then like an auto tuner to get the match. But um, with 25 feet of wire and a four to one transformer, you'll probably get about a three to one match at the feed point. And then you're, yeah, if you've got a little tuner on your rig, that'll, that'll get you down uh, the rest of the way. So. Mm -hmm. Either you're planning to do Winterfield Day, January. I was talking with Joe and Travis on that, and um, we are planning on Winterfield Day. We've got a cabin, it sounds like near Adams, Wisconsin. It's a new location. So we'll see what happens. Um, it should be. A, really? Whose cabin is that? Well, is that so it's a, it's, it's a friend, a, a friend of Joe's is he's got some investment properties hmm. and um, that's the guy. It's the same guy that owns that cabin up near Owen Withy that we always go to. Right. He bought another it's cabin near um adams in it's Central not in a, is it in a park it's not in no, a park is it? no it's not in a park hmm. i think it's on it's i think it's on a lake that lake outside of town you know what we should do sometime is uh we should get a uh a, a fishing shack oh a fishing shack out on a lake that's in a park for winter there we field. Go. that's that's what we should do <laughs> i like that idea that'd be so, fun we could yeah. we could fish and and uh, play radio at the same time. I like that. You know, it's um, yeah. Watch the tip ups and play the radio. That's yeah, a, that's a good deal. 
Let's see see if Joel knows any friends that could fix us up. <laughs> Fishing shacks. <Yeah. laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.